Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and all the ships at sea. Welcome to Cooking Cheap. I'm Lair. I'm Laban, and you look like the jolly little giant today with that green elf costume. You look like you got a big on. P. <laughs> 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 but anyway, and isn't it funny? Have you noticed the little monitor off to the look at that? Oh, look at that shirt. Yeah, what what color yeah, is that shirt on that monitor? It looks blue to me. <laughs> but his shirt is, in, in reality, folks, is green. Don't adjust your sets. It's but, a but you are green. But you are allowed to come down and adjust our sets if you want to. You know what that reminds me of? What? When we would make tempera paint back in, in elementary school and stir in too much water and it was kind of thinned out. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's exactly. You making fun of my shirt? Uh, not do exactly. Do you not like no, my shirt, no, Mr. I, actually, I do. That's it, a it lovely shade it, of green. Well, it was real green 10 years ago. Oh. <laughs> Well, let's get the witch in here and see, out a little see bit. what's going on. The witch, the witch. What? Oh, there she is. She flew right into she your hands. Me. <laughs> Don't be smacking the witch around. We'll, we'll have all these witch people writing in. because. Oh, I know. Uh, this is not a good witch day. <laughs> we can't get rid of her. Okay. All right, dear boys, my husband Edsel drinks too much. <laughs> he loves spaghetti, and all that pasta and beer have made him as fat as a pig. No, oh. a hog. Oh. Anyway, can you come up with some spaghetti recipes that won't further fatten him up? And it's signed Ramona Ford of Piggy Piggy, Arkansas. <laughs> <laughs> Piggy Piggy. We Ramona, gotten... you're l out of luck today because... Uh, there's nothing sensible about no. either of these recipes. My recipe is instant heart attack. It is not cheap, it's expensive, <laughs> and it's really bad for you. Well, maybe we ought to rename the show Cooking Expensive I, and Really Bad. Perhaps we should. Because we've been cooking really bad for 18 years. Oh. I'm waiting for water to boil, and so while I'm waiting for that, I'm gonna, I have just a little bit of canola. You remember Jerry oh, Canola, yeah. don't you? Or, no, it was <laughs> Judy Canola. Judy Canola, that's it, and I'm gonna, Chop up four big old things of celery and a big old uh, green, oh, I'm making spaghetti. Uh, Don's <laughs> spicy spaghetti with chunky vegetable sauce. And I'm always a little suspicious about a spaghetti that starts out with canned spaghetti sauce. Right. <laughs> well, I, I don't normally use canned spaghetti sauce. And I'm doing, this is called Fettuccine Primavera. It was sent in by Helen Vale of Glenside, Pennsylvania. Some of Jerry Vale's oh, people. Oh, but it, it really has got a lot of stuff that, that, if you're in my shape, is not good for you. This and was sent in by Donald Miller, Jr. of Winona, New Jersey. Winona. Is Winona? That like mm -hmm. uh, New Jersey. Well, I'm, we, Larry and I were just talking. Here I've got a pepper that has a label on it that says pepper. <laughs> and I swear it's because the young people today, yeah, young people today just don't know one vegetable from another. Oh, you can't tell a fruit in a snowstorm. Well, sound more like an old windbag all the time. Well, you know, it bothers me when they have to put a label on stuff like a pepper so that the ignets at the checked out counter will know what it is. Well, our brand new fancified grocery store, which will go unnamed, down the street from me sell so many exotic things now that one day they brought something up to the cash register and had to close the cash register down because no one in the store knew what it was, what to call it, what price it was, or anything. That's what they get for having all this fancy stuff in store. Mm -hmm. Chris, you know, we used to complain here in the Sal that you couldn't get anything in our stores. And you couldn't. And now we can. We well, have arrived. Let me say this about, um, I've done some substituting in this for price sake. Uh -oh. the, uh, the recipe calls for two red peppers. And Larry, these two red peppers, now at the time we're taping this show, which is in uh, January, I think, um, has uh, cost $3.59 for these two little red peppers. This is not a good time of the year. And it also calls for a pound of asparagus, and I said, mm-mm, because asparagus uh, yesterday was $4 a pound, and I just couldn't see spending that kind of money, so I substituted a pound of zucchini for it. And if Helen doesn't like it, tough. We are supposed to be cheap. Don't send us these expensive recipes. Well, I am right now sauteing four ribs of celery in there, and I've chopped up a small onion, and the next thing I'm going to do now is chop up a green bell pepper, 
And in a couple of seconds, I'll show you what we do. Th this is an unusual recipe because of what you do to the water before you the spaghetti, put the spaghetti in it. I've never seen one where you, you start with the water doing something unusual. So uh, I'll be doing something unusual with the water well, momentarily. Good. But right now, I just got to go at it with, uh, with this. We have a lot of things on today's show. We even have a visit by the Cook Sisters later on, I'm told. Mm -hmm. So anyway, we'll see about that. It doesn't call for sauteing any of this in the recipe, but because this is television, and we only have a few minutes. In fact, I think we're, they just gave us the three-minute sign. Are you ready? Oh, to ready? yeah. Uh, but because it's television and we have to get things done in a little more of a hurry today, I do not have the luxury of cooking this in the sauce on top of the stove until it's done. So I'm going to saute it first, and then I'll put the sauce in, because after all, it is a, a ready-made sauce, and all we have to do is heat the sauce part of it up. So I'll continue. Oh, I think I better go ahead and do the water yeah, part it's of it's boiling. It's boiling. This is before you put your spaghetti in here to boil. You have to put a little bit of salt, a little canola oil. And I did that just before we went on the air. And then you put your spaghetti in and you pour a bunch of other junk on top of that. So here we go. We're going to put spaghetti in. And it's, he, the man is very specific to use nine-inch spaghetti. Nine-inch mm. spaghetti. So I don't guess for those of you who like to break it in half, don't do that. This man would be very upset if you broke his spaghetti in half. Have you ever been around people that just have a real phobia yes. about long spaghetti? And they have to chop it all up and well, go at it? Well, Helen's, when she sent in this recipe, called for 12 ounces. Well, you can't buy 12 ounces of nine-inch long spaghetti. <laughs> I'm telling you, kind of retent. You know, I just thought of something I've been meaning to tell all of you. What'd you just think about? Well, recently, I was somewhere, I can't even remember where I was, and I ran into one of the Silver Bells. The ones you, who used yeah, to play our theme song. the old song. ladies that used to play on our show. And uh, they, one is in a, is in, in, well, she's not sensible anymore and is in a home. <laughs> well, Laban, and do the we other, have to talk about The this other on one air? is in West Virginia living, and that's the one I saw. She'd come over to the big city. Well, I'm glad you didn't see the goofy one. Uh. Okay. Now, what you have to add to this water is the following. This is the strangest thing. A teaspoon of ground cloves. Ooh. Where's the teaspoon? Well, I've always said anything that's good is better with cloves in it, but that's I don't know about enough. that. Ground cloves, have you ever in your life? Just, well, those aren't ground cloves. Those are whole cloves. I don't care. I'm going to put them uh, in anyway. I don't have any other. If I get a mouthful of whole cloves. You will, and you'll like it. <laughs> uh, a teaspoon of ground allspice. Well, I did get that right. Uh, a teaspoon of paprika. You better hope I get this right. And then, of course, you got the canola oil and all that in there. This will be a lot of fun using that whole spice light. That whole. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. And you stir that up. Now you're going to boil the spaghetti in there according in accordance with the instructions on the label, which I've thrown out because any fool knows you should do it for 10 or 12 minutes. And when it's al dente, you take it out. So we're going to let that go for a little bit. And I'm still sauteing this stuff. It's starting to smell right good, isn't it? I and because smell a thing. I've had to make another substitution uh. today, because it calls specifically for old world style mushroom ragu, which they had everything in the world, different variety of it, but they didn't have any with mushrooms, so I have brought some mushrooms along to add to it in a couple of minutes so we'll stay true. To the, I, I think I'm going to go ahead and put that in there. Well, ladies right. and gentlemen, you just don't have any idea what a problem it is for us to run down some of these <laughs> ingredients. You can't find some of the you, stuff. We can't find it here in the South. And there are big regional differences with all this stuff. But fortunately, we have pretty good senses of humor and just go on and do the best we can. Now, you'll have to pick these cloves out of the spaghetti. We serve it. I can't help it. Well, I do we have see any See that it called for that. I'm going to put some uh, mushrooms in there. Already pre-done mushrooms because I didn't want to have to chop those all day long. 
Now the interesting thing is, even though you're already using a predisposed uh, uh, sauce, you uh -huh. have to add stuff to the sauce. And what you have to add to the sauce is a tablespoon of Cajun spice seasoning, which was also very difficult to find. That looks like an awful lot to me, but that's what it calls for. Uh, minced onion is in there. Parsley flakes, tablespoon, or is that a teaspoon? Teaspoon, parsley flakes. That's pretty close. Uh, medium bell pepper, blah, 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 blah. that's in there. Got that in there, four stalks of celery. That's all in there. Now have I got everything? No, I Technically don't know. everything has been used Hope up. Hope you do. Okay. So now you just cook this until it gets warm, and as soon as the spaghetti is right, what you do is throw the stuff in a colander, but you don't want to rinse it because you don't want all these precious things that are on it coming off of it. <laughs> Except perhaps those old cloves, which Mr. Johnson's going to choke on later on. And that's my recipe. I'm, I'm out of here. Well, oh, good. Go what do you got? Well, I'm, now I'm going to make the sauce for this bad boy. And I'm beating up an egg. Could you have gotten a smaller bowl? Well, I don't, it's that's all I need it for. Just to beat up it's an just egg. so in. delicate with it. Well, <laughs> I try to be as, you know, careful and as delicate as I can. Oh, man. All things being equal. So I have turned this down a little. I don't want to scorch this stuff. Well, according to this recipe from Helen up in Pennsylvania, you, you heat the cream. And this is where it starts getting bad on you, not good for you. Here is a cup of heavy cream. Oh, I can hear those arteries slamming, mm -hmm. even Just as we wham! <laughs> if I can get it open. I hated these things when I was a kid in school, and I still do. I have There's never, ever heard of spaghetti that you boil with stuff in the water. Well, I have to do have, it, too. Have you? Yeah. No. Right unusual. But I mean, it's, you can, it's all right with me. All right, you gotta have two tablespoons of Smells butter. Smells good, smells real good. So bad. I'm using margarine, at least I got that much done. And a cup of Parmesan cheese, and it's in one of these, oh, Ooh. new bags that you can't get into, you know, that you have to tear, because it's resealable. Here, take a knife to it. Want to take a knife to yeah. it? Yeah. Now don't cut me. It's real sharp, that knife. Mm -hmm. right. Did Harold sharpen these knives before we came on today? Woo! Harold does a great job. Put your parmesan down in there. <sighs> and uh, your egg. What? Doris keeps whispering things to me, but she, she won't say it loud that enough that I can hear I what she's saying. I left my bell tone at home. <laughs> I can't understand All a right. thing and the woman says. And this calls for a little bit of cayenne red pepper. Ooh, both of us have similar uh, things, except you have cheese in yours and yeah. I don't. But that looks real and good. And it's supposed to have some salt in it, but Doris forgot it and left it at home. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, did. let's blame this on she Doris. Did. Poor Doris. Because, you know, all we have is that, that box of salt that is ossified up there. Mm -hmm. I'm going to give my recipe. All right. Looks like you've hit a dull stretch. The whole doggone show has been a dull stretch thus far. The spaghetti, one 16-ounce box of thin spaghetti, two tablespoons of salt, <laughs> teaspoon ground cloves. Ground cloves, ladies and gentlemen, very important you understand that. I had ground cloves at home. Why did I bring Holland's? teaspoon of ground allspice, teaspoon of paprika, and a quarter cup of canola oil. And then on it goes 14 ounces of old world style mushroom sauce, if you can find it, a tablespoon of Cajun spice seasoning, a teaspoon of minced onion, a teaspoon of parsley flakes, a medium green bell pepper clean, and four stalks of celery. And we're cooking that in the sauce right now. Johnson. Well, all right, and the spaghetti primavera from Helen Vale calls for a 12 ounces of fettuccine, one pound of asparagus, I'm substituting uh, zucchini, two red peppers, two carrots, a cup of frozen peas, uh -huh. one cup of cream, one cup of grated Parmesan cheese, 
two tablespoons of butter, one egg beaten, and a half teaspoon cayenne pepper and salt. Mmm, boy, that spaghetti sure is raw. Mm. Well, the sauce is beginning to... Well, I hate to tell you this, but I don't think the spaghetti tastes any different than spaghetti that's been floating around playing old salt Well, water. I know it. What's well, the deal? Well, should we bring in the Cook Sisters no, or Doris? No, well, let's bring in Doris. One's about yeah, as I'm old as the I'm putting all other. of my vegetables in the pot now <laughs> with the... Come out of here, Doris. Now, be careful you don't get too close to my sauce. I don't want to put your eye out. Well, you better set all that right there. Yeah, well, I have to have Doris working to my left today. This has thrown me totally off. Well, look at all this stuff. This is beautiful. Uh, I had to make beer bread, and it was very, very complicated. <laughs> <laughs> I needed two cups of self-rising flour, one tablespoon of sugar, and one can of beer. And that was it. And, and you put it in a small pan. Now I try, I, I baked it like I did one at a time in a little uh, dish, and what do you call it, a flower pot. Mm -hmm. And uh, you can, if you want to be fancy and you have a nice Ooh, look at that. little roll like that, and you can serve it on this. This one has caraway seeds in it. They said you could put caraway seeds or poppy. Well, I didn't think you ought to put poppy seeds in the bread. Poppy. I didn't know how that would taste, so I just put it on top, and this is a plain one. And uh, Harold and I tried it the other day, and much to our surprise, it was very good. So uh, it's, it's hard to cut, but um, it has sort of a tangy taste, but it does turn out to be bread, because I should have brought my try. own knife. And I've got butter for you over there. But so uh, it's definitely got a beer taste to it. Yeah, it has a, a tangy taste, and that we had it. I think you put too much tang <laughs> in it. Mm -hmm. Well, it's a 12 ounce can. That's what's in it, and that's mm. it. And you bake it. Uh, it really, put it on this nice little dish. <laughs> it's a beautiful bread. <laughs> and you put, bake it for an hour at 350. You got to show the dishes. Yes, I do. <laughs> show the dishes off. Well, that's real but, nice. Um, it, it's better hot, too, <laughs> but I had to bake it earlier. But I, what um, bread isn't? Really, but we used it. We toasted it, we whatever. So I'll put it over there, and you all can have okay, some. Okay, great. Ladies and gentlemen, Doris Ford, the hardest working woman in show. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> she brings her own cheering uh -huh. thing. Well, bread. now i got to wait for the spaghetti to, to boil again. So. Well, this stuff is slowly cooking, and this ought to be... Pretty My close sauce to being done finished. here very shortly. I'm just going to scoop this out and hope that those things oh, won't no. come out with them. Well, we're getting mighty close on that. We have the Cook Sisters today. Yeah, bring them on in here. First, they've joined us in a while, and because uh, you know they demand on they demand getting union scale. Uh -huh. That one's tough. So here they are right now. Oh, sis, this is such a wonderful kitchen. Well, Tootsie, I think it's real nice, too. It's yours, isn't it? Ah, uh, but I forgot. <laughs> I thought I recognized it, but, you know. Oh, oh, I have a tip for you. Oh, okay. You know, I'm always trying to be helpful. Did you bring it in on a narrow? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> anyway, you know, I can. you can save time when you're making a uh, meatloaf by taking an ice cream scoop and, meat and loaf. forming it. Yeah. Meatloaf? Uh-huh. It's meatballs. Oh, it's meatballs. Well, you know, my eyes are just terrible. When but the I brain will tell you starts this. to go, it's <laughs> just terrible. But you know, you can do the same thing with hamburgers, oh, too. Uh -huh. You take a scoop and I'm a mash it flat. Tootsie Cook and... I'm Sister Cook. And we're the, the Cook, Cook sisters, sisters, we think. <laughs> what a mess. Get yourself a colander, put it in the sink, and now you have to drain this stuff. This is al dente, we hope, and drain it all out, but you don't want to wash it off because you don't want to wash off all those precious, wonderful things, except I am going to take all of the uh, cloves. <laughs> I got them. Laban, aren't you proud of I am happy that I will not break a teeth <laughs> later on today. Well, it makes a sort of a brown-looking spaghetti. Have you uh -huh. ever in your life seen anything quite brown like it? Brown spaghetti. Brown spaghetti. <laughs> and we'll just let that drain for a couple of minutes, but don't oh, wash. Oh, I can smell the clothes now. Can't you, though? Well, it's because I dumped them all in mm -hmm. there. 
but it, it looks real brown and evil looking, but it supposedly is real good. I think I'll just pick some out and put it on our plates. What do you think about that? I think you'll use all of it because I've got to use the strainer too. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> well, that's not a problem. I got, I've got uh, all right. something to go on here. It's all right. We're having to work on a, a budget. Uh, well, there you go. The strainer the, the has been cleared costs, for your edification. The, the food costs so much this time that we don't have money for the things that we really need. I'm just going to put little individual, see there are no cloves, there's one right there, but I've got it under control, ladies and gentlemen. No one is going to choke on a clove today. But you can smell it, it's real good. And there's another Ooh. one, it's real pretty. And what you do is you put your sauce on top of that and serve it. I'm doing it individually so as to cut down on the mess today. And just serve that right on top with all of those mushrooms and all those fresh vegetables in there. Real nice. So I would make my sauce from scratch. Making a sauce from scratch requires nothing. No brains. Just tomatoes and a little imagination. Now I'm pouring so my sauce are. from scratch. That's pretty. On and then I've got to toss this. Boy, I'm glad I don't have to clean this pan today. <laughs> and a mighty pretty one it is, too. You know, that thing holds about 16 gallons. That's uh -huh. a huge bowl. Well, that's a beautiful sauce. Yes, it is. Gorgeous. You know, let's stir I just it wish up. I had a picture of it. Toss it around. And he's tossing it around. <laughs> Perhaps if you had two little things, it well, would be better to to toss, all the better to toss with. And our poor friend over here that's got to wash the dishes <laughs> saying, oh no, not another spoon. It's the biggest mess I've ever seen. That is a beautiful dish though. I will tell, and I mean what you've prepared. The yeah. dish itself is lovely, but isn't that just gorgeous? All those different colors and everything. Mm -hmm. Ooh wee. Mm -hmm. And it all looks so blue. And it is. <laughs> well, must be that camera. All righty, time to head off. Some well, left the chair. This is gorgeous. We've got uh, fresh bread from Doris, or relatively so, and uh, beautiful spaghetti, two different ones. I'm going to kind of, oh, Laban. <laughs> what? Oh, it made a mess. Oh, for heaven's sake. Well, <laughs> I don't have any tongs on them. I uh, know. I should have brought mine over. That's that's uh, <clears throat> just enough. just the Is greatest. That that's the greatest of plenty. Thanks an awful lot, Mr. Johnson. I really appreciate it. <laughs> okay. Oh man. You didn't bring a little parmesan cheese with you. Uh, yeah, it's in the sauce. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Oh. Well, oh, my, my napkin back. has so much stuff on it that I have to set it aside. Now I'll tell you this recipe that that Doris did with the. Uh, beer bread is one of one of the ones that we get constantly. We did it years ago, but it's so easy and so mm -hmm. good. I'll make it on occasion. Mm. Well, your noodles, your spaghetti, and why not? It's all horrible things you shouldn't have, but it's fabulous. Mm -mm -mm. Mm. The bread is good. Okay, Johnson, try mine. All right. Give it a twirl. <laughs> and you'll notice that neither of us chopped our spaghetti up so we wouldn't offend anybody. Mm. Well, what do you think? You know, it's really tangy, tasty, and not bad. I like it. Do you think that pre-doing all that spaghetti gives it a little different flavor? I imagine it does, doesn't it? Probably does. I don't Let's know. see how this. Well, now, it I'm is just going to eat one forkful of this stuff I did. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Till the cameras go off. <laughs> <laughs> you ought to see them when they get, when they do this. Yeah. Anyway, well, I think it's pretty good. Oh, I have yeah. a little of that. Is that margarine or butter? Uh, well, you, ah! Oh my heavens! Turn the cameras off if his doctor's and you know, watching. Before we're I forget it, you know that finished. pound cake we did recently. Yes. Well, I took it home and and baked the one that we did on the air, and shortened the cooking time some, and it was picture 
perfect. It uh -huh. could not have been more beautiful. The only thing was you could drop a slice of it on the table and it would bounce about six inches. It was so rubbery. Oh, you caught me. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. Well, they've determined now that butter isn't any worse for you than margarine, and margarine isn't any worse for you than butter. Yep. Neither one of them is very good, so eat up. <laughs> Have a good time. Bye. Mmm. Wonderful. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.